Today we're going to discuss adding a manual override to a spool valve, which is this piece here uh, in front of you. This is a Topworks DXP, which is what you'll find out in the field uh, with the optional spool valve. Um, we'll be adding the other option, the manual override, to this valve today. To do this, we're going to need a 4 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a torque wrench with the 4 and 2.5 millimeter hex drives, and an instrument screwdriver. To add a manual reset, uh, we'll need to remove the end cap opposite of the spring. Uh, there's a diagram on the front of the spool valve that shows the spring. In this case, and as in the units in the field, we'll be moving the right hand end cap. There are two end caps and a center block, which contains all the guts of the spool valve. So to start off, we'll take our four millimeter Allen key and begin unthreading front bolts. Now we'll undo our two and a half millimeter. And be careful uh, as you undo these bolts, it'll begin falling off. So when you get to the last one, be sure that you're supporting the end cap so it doesn't fall. Now if you'll notice uh, we have a secondary o-ring here for a, or a, a second uh, an o-ring for a secondary seal as well as two o-rings inside um, on the center block mounted on the center block of the spool valve. Uh, these O-rings here should stay in place um, before you put the new manual override on, ensure that they're there. In comparison, uh, the manual override has a hole bored through the center which allows this shaft to move in and out. Um, as you can see, this button goes in and out here. And this unit has the silicone o-ring, which is what you'll see in the field. And actually, when you get to the field, uh, these o-rings will be silicone as well. So go ahead and insert the manual override shaft into the center block. Line up the holes. And we'll go ahead and put this unit back on. Don't forget to ensure that all those O-rings were in place when you placed it back on. Now I've pre-assembled uh, the spool valve, so you should receive it together just as I presented it here with the O-ring in place, the shaft inserted, and uh, the shaft lubricated as well. Um, also, there is a, another O-ring mounted on this shaft to act as a secondary seal for air trying to escape out that path. But like I said before, the primary seal for this device is inside the center block, which we will not be opening up. So go ahead and tighten these bolts down.
when you put this block on, be sure that the, the recesses for the block are facing you on the front. Uh, that's how you'll know you've got it orientated, orientated correctly. And that's it, that's installing a manual override. Now after this, you'll of course want to take your torque wrench and torque these two front bolts down to 33 inch pounds and these two side bolts down to 10 inch pounds. Now once complete, um, this manual override can be depressed and it should manually shift the valve. Now I don't have air on this unit and you likely won't have air on your units out in the field. But you can push this in, quarter turn it and it should hold in place. When ready to release you can just turn it, turn it back and release and it will pop back out. And that's all that this does. And this concludes installing a manual override. Thanks.